so I got my pacemaker checked a couple days ago. I've been going through feelings of feeling really crappy about myself and then really good. And uh, basically, my pacemaker hasn't helped me. Uh, it hasn't kicked in. But it's working like a USB. Sorry, my dog's just run away. <laughs> um, my pacemaker's working like a USB, basically, and recording everything, which is good. But I'm still having, you know, attacks. On average, 11 attacks a day, apparently. Still passing out and stuff. So basically, my heart rate skyrocketing, my blood pressure, which was stable, is now just crashing all the time, and there's nothing they can do to help me. The pacemaker can't help. Cardiologist can't change my meds up or anything. There's nothing they can do. And it's been nearly two years of having my pacemaker. And basically, they told me this is life now. So I got super depressed, thinking, I don't want to live like this. I see things on the news that we're living longer and thinking, oh my god, I don't want to live longer with this. But then I realized, I'm in a shitty situation at home. Um, and feeling like I'm a burden and everything. And I have no independence because of my health. Then I'm like, so why not just pick up and move somewhere else? I used to live somewhere else and I loved it. My house was just, it was mine, you know. And it made me so happy. And here I am not. Um, so I figured if I'm going to pass out and feel like shit. Why not do it somewhere I'm happy? Why not? Go outside. If I'm not going to get better, and you know, there's always medicine and science and shit like that change in the future, but basically, just fuck it. <laughs> fuck the health. Fuck the situation. Maybe I should actually just live. Because right now this isn't living. But. You know, my health is holding me back, but basically I had a neurologist who told me once, I was crying in his office when he told me that this condition is permanent. And this was when I was nowhere near as bad as I am now. And I said, oh, I'm not going to have a life. I'm not going to be able to do anything. And he says, you're alone most of the time at home now, right? And I said, yes. And he said, and you pass out on your own? And I said, yes. And he said, why not just pass out on your own somewhere else that makes you happy? And part of that is stupid. <laughs> but the other part is like, oh well, yeah. Why not? So, you know, everything within reason, you know, I'm not going to go to the beach by myself and swim because I'd end up dying. But, yeah, why don't I just do things, you know, like I used to. So, yeah, that's my health update. Uh, this is the worst I've ever been, and it will probably stay like this forever, so fuck everything. Why don't I just <sighs> try and have fun, I guess. So yeah, uh, today's Galentine's Day. I hope you're having a great day, and let all your female friends know how wonderful they are. And thank you for being there for me and watching, because it actually helps a lot. Thank you.